what I've been making. I made this bad boy. Beautiful dive. And it's great to see Tom back on that 10 meter. Hey everyone, it's Tom here. Now, I don't really know where to start this video actually, because what I was going to do initially was my thought was to talk a little bit about the competition that just happened, the team event. But then I also wanted to show you all the things that I've been making while I've been here. So I think I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with a team event because why not? So I went into this competition because it's like quite an important one. We have to qualify our spots for the Olympics, right? So me and Noah are competing in the men's tummy of synchro, which I don't know when this video is gonna be out, but maybe it will be at the end of this video or it might be that this video is already out. But anyway, Thursday the 8th is our day to try and qualify a spot for the Olympics. So we have to come in the top seven, or essentially the Olympics is the top eight divers, the eight teams in the world, but France already has a spot because they're a host nation. China qualified last year in the top three. Also, who else qualified? Uh, Mexico and Ukraine. So if those are in the top four, then it's top eight, but if they're lower than that, basically we just have to come in the next four teams or within the top eight. I know that sounds really complicated and you don't really know whether you've qualified until the standings are finished, basically, because there's no particular spot. So, no and I just had to go out there and enjoy it, but in the meantime, I didn't want, it's a straight final, so I didn't want it to be my first competition out, so I decided to do some of the team event. So the team event is an event where you can compete on the springboard and the platform, and you can have up to four people from a country, and so we decided to throw that in and get the shake the cobwebs off a little bit and here's a little bit of how it went. Beautiful dive. Oh wow. Amazing dive for the Brits. It's great to see Tom back on that 10 meter. And this is the gold bad boy that we came away with. Look at that, if you can see it through the reflection. Got a lovely little box for it as well. Team event gold, we're world champions in the team event, which is kind of crazy. My fourth world championship title, second in the team event, and I've got two other individual ones. So yeah, it's uh, that was quite a nice little return to international competition. So now I've just got training between now and the competition with Noah on Thursday. And I can't lie if I'm telling you, I'm feeling a bit nervous because it all comes down to this, this moment. So. This comes down to six dives, but here's a little bit of how training is going. Now, what I'm actually really excited about talking about is what I've been making. Now, I didn't bring that much yarn out with me, so you would have seen on my Instagram already this knit top that I made. So I, th th also you would have seen on the last YouTube video, the, the yarn that was given to me by the hotel there. So I've been using it, I repurposed it. It was meant to be for a blanket, but this is the vest that I made. So I made this and then I was like, well, I started making a video, you'll see it soon on Instagram because I've been cutting it together, because I started making a jumper on the plane. And again, I thought I brought enough yarn, but I didn't bring enough yarn on the plane, so I then had to wait until I got here, and then I made this bad boy. So this is just like a stripy, super chunky moment, and I embroidered a little heart on it because I thought the heart was quite cute, and I liked the ends. I might even fluff them out a little bit so they're a bit fluffier. But yeah, I thought this was kind of cute. Comfy, slightly cropped. I like jumpers that finish on my trousers. So yeah, this is one oh, I'm flying low as well. And then I had a little bit more of the gray yarn left over. So I was like, hmm, what am I gonna make? And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a, I had this idea of doing like a heart panel that looks like this, right? A heart but then make the back still have like some of the heart detailing. And then I obviously was thinking, oh, I'll make it into a jumper, but then didn't have enough yarn to make it into a jumper. So I decided to make it into this tank thing. And I don't know if it quite works, but I think it's kind of cute. It's like a heart and it like, cause it's like a V, it drops quite cool. And then I just like put little straps on the side to like hold it together. And I don't know, I think it's kind of cute, comfy. And it kind of like, I like the long line of it, you know? And uh, there's one more thing that I'm working on, which I'll show you. 
And at this point, anyone that's not into knitting has probably switched off at this point. Love my knitting, I do. I love my knitting. I started making this, a similar thing to the heart thing, but I'm making a checkerboard version. So I, I'm still working on the ribbing, I'm still working on this one, so you'll see the finished thing later. But I thought I'd just give you that little update. And you know, you can tell I've been like trying to get out of my head because I've been <laughs> knitting so much, but you know, you know me, I bloody love knitting. Okay. And here is the finished other thing that I was making. Yeah, I know I ran out of yarn a little bit and I literally only have this left now. So I don't know what more I'm gonna make, but this is the finished bit that was on my needles yesterday. I just basically made like panels going up and then sewed it all together. And now it's got, and it's got like a little side bit. And I know it's not really covering very much, but I kind of like it. I feel like it's like a LA knit. It was fun. I was trying to get creative with the last few bits of yarn that I had and the colors that I had. And I like it, so. Deal with it, I guess. <laughs> Finn. Finny. Finny. 